Well, it's day five, uh, Australian Women's Baseball Championships in Adelaide, Women's Baseball, the inside pitch. We are here, and I tell you, get the popcorn out, because tonight we just watched Queensland versus New South Wales. It's the Maroons versus the Cockroaches. It's um, And we've got the McMillan sisters, who were teammates, but now enemies. Um, Kim McMillan, because you're in my middle right next to me. Kim McMillan now repping for the blue of New South Wales, and Tammy McMillan repping the Maroon of Queensland. Welcome, girls. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> now let's get, you know what, let's just get stuck straight into the game. So New South Wales, 14-2. Um, I'll start with you, Kim. How did you see that? Uh, New South, the bats were on fire tonight. Like, yes, there were some errors in the field from the Queensland girls, but I don't think that was even going to stop them. There was just power after power. Like, how many balls did you see the outfielders running to the fence for tonight mm. for New South? Like, I think they really turned it on tonight, so it was good to see. And yourself, Tammy, how did you see it from the Queensland side? Oh, yeah. Or both the yeah. Side. Uh, like Kim said, the bats were on fire. We always know going up against New South Wales that there's a chance that they, they'll come out firing. Um, and it's just about trying to keep that momentum um, not so one-sided, so just trying to keep maintaining that. It's it's really difficult to see on the scoreboard such a massive um score so quickly um, and it's just trying to kind of maintain that how do we keep breaking that down and making it attainable so it is there were some good things out of that um, our starting pitcher did a hell of a job um, she did her job mm. it was just unfortunately couldn't really back it up so that obviously made it a little bit harder I think still hats off to her she did fantastic um, and we still had some good hits here and there obviously a young team um, still trying to figure things out and get used to the um, the tournament and things like that. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, and, and you say that because the young team, I mean, you look at Toro. Um, Toro's come mm -hmm. back playing a really big leadership role on that team. We've lost, obviously, people like yourself, Laura Wagner, Rachel Higgins, Taylor Welsh. The names are endless just in a year. But the fact you've got two teams mm -hmm. that at, at one nationals, that's great signs for Queensland women's baseball. Yeah, absolutely. And, like, a very young young cohort um i remember my last nationals those girls were in the juniors like it's makes me feel old but um it's definitely yeah it's fantastic we really it's actually been a really long time coming we've wanted this for a long long time um so it's really cool to see that happening and, and even just where the girls come from it's a very spread out region um mm. i think this mm. is probably the most spread out we've ever been <laughs> So obviously that adds things to it as well, but really cool to see it's not just thriving in pockets of Queensland. It's actually growing across the board. For women's yeah, that's baseball. awesome. Um, and Kimmy, obviously you've played with a lot of those girls for New South Wales. A little, uh, kind of like Queensland, but not as so dra dramatic, a little bit different, a um, little bit of different New South Wales. How do you see or have you seen their, their week and their team shaping up? Yeah, so the um, it is a very different lineup um, out there, and to be honest, there is a couple of faces out there that I don't actually know because um, <laughs> I don't live in New South Wales anymore. <laughs> um, I'm actually in Queensland myself, um, so I've actually played with more of the Queensland girls now than the ones that are on the New South um, lineup this week. But the younger ones coming through, I had seen some of them um, coming through the ranks when we were helping with development stuff. Um, so it was pretty cool to see them out there um, and competing. And then like even Jordan, um, she was, when I was there, she was like a rookie of the team and like a youngster. And now she's like one of their key players in their team. So it's so mm. good to see her stepping up in the uh, mix of that. And same with Maddie Heath. Like, I don't think I actually got to compete with her. Um, the I think I was pregnant with Tana when, um, when she first had her um, debut in the women's team, but the youngsters are really yep. stepping it up and I think they've got the fight in them and um, sometimes that inexperience actually helps in a way as they don't know the who the um, some of the key superstars are. So when they play Victoria, they don't know who Shay Lily White is in a sense of um, game yep. and understanding where she's going to hit and what she's going to do and what she's capable of. So it's not a fear factor. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes it's – it's. I mean, I know if I faced you or you, you're having to face Renee Stramani, whoever the people might be, you're like, oh, that's them. Yeah. If you're coming up just there at your first – like my first Nationals, I remember, I was like, I knew names, I really knew no one. And it was like really cool. And then you learn everyone and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, that was – I remember <laughs> um, my first one for being in, at Nationals in Altona and um, I was just, yep. just 15, I think, and um, I had no idea who anyone was. I'd never even played yep. in an all-girls tournament. 
or team before. Like I had only wow. played in mixed teams and then trialed for country and that was the first experience I had of women's. And um, I got down there and I, I didn't know who Katie Gaynor was. I didn't know who <laughs> like uh, Shay was. I didn't know Renee. Like I knew no one. And so walking out there, I was just like it was just an eye opener to me because I didn't, I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't know what mm. to expect. Um, yep. But then from there, like then you started to get the names, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh my god, I'm facing Renee. Oh, like this is happening now. <laughs> like, but then and then you go through the next phase where all of a sudden you've played with them and you've you've competed at that level, and it's like how cool yeah. it is to challenge up against them. Yeah. I would like to go back to those days when I, I didn't know any of them. It sort of felt like a little, little bit more Well, you're relaxing. both lucky because I grew up obviously watching Kim play. So I knew everyone. Like I came in <laughs> knowing everyone and being scared oh, of so absolutely everyone. you missed everyone. out on that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> was just like, yeah. You were scared just Petrified. in the, in the yeah, before you even made your team. You were just scared behind the fence yeah, going, oh. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and now you mentioned Jordan Richardson. We've reached out to Jordan Richardson and Hannah Marshall. Um, now – Jordan, obviously, as you said, New South Wales. And Hannah Marshall is, um, Tammy, you were saying that yourself, I'm not sure if both of you, but Hannah's a really exciting young rising star from Queensland. She's done some catching. We saw her on the mound tonight, a couple of scoreless innings. Um, you've coached her. What, yeah, she might be joining us very soon. She may just lob in. Who knows? What, what can you tell me about her? Oh, she's just such an awesome player. And, like, even just in that one game, she just played three positions, <laughs> which yeah. was the fourth of the day. So it's Hannah. Hannah's always been um, a really strong competitor. She's always fought it with the boys, um, obviously here growing up in the boys' leagues rather than around women. So she's always held her own. And I've just always liked her mentality. She's always a go-getter. Mm. And she'll just – she loves to learn and she soaks everything up. So I haven't coached her for – I think it was, like, four years ago go at least now maybe five um but i've definitely known her around i've been around her and things like that kim's been closely around her as well so yep. we both the, know her um, quite well gold coast they have the state championships up here so uh, oh, yeah. hannah and i actually play in the same gold coast region for the team along with um kaya foxwell uh well actually there's a list of them tammy you'd probably know. <laughs> georgia day um um, Ava Dixon. Yeah, Ava Dixon. <laughs> like they're, they're yeah, there's a whole lot. bunch from the Gold Coast um, in that team yep. that's in that same Gold Coast one. So it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Cara Fox was someone who I've really noticed at these nationals. She's done really well. Yep. She's um did well tonight. She's um how how old is she? Because she looks. I'd be she just, she just graduated last year. I think she just turned eighteen this year. Yeah. Wow, she's a huge prospect. If I was the Aussie and, coach, I'd be putting a little asterisk yeah. next to her. Yeah, and the best sure. thing that I like about Kaya is she is the most cool, calm and collected player you'll ever meet. She yeah, just she looks doesn't like... seem phased, just doesn't even look like she's caring and she'll come out and hit smoke it. And you're like, what yep. the? <laughs> I just think she's yeah. in that phase still, even though she's been there before, is what we were saying where you don't really know the status of that player. That's mm. the way she is <laughs> all the time. Like, it's just <laughs> yeah. harsh and that's how it is. Like, she's good for a laugh. Um, nothing, yep. nothing mm -hmm. too serious. Yeah, and I just love. Yeah, she kind of looks a little bit similar to Hannah Marshall. But the thing I love about Hannah mm -hmm. as well, she looks like a little gamer. She just, yeah. like, she just goes out there and it's just like I think she knows who all these names she are. Does. Yeah. Hey, she does. <laughs> she cares. Um, she <laughs> The last one of the last tournaments she was when she was a junior. I remember Kim. I think you were telling me about it. Was she was so starstruck when she met Tani. And she couldn't speak. Yep. She was just so blown up because she oh was a full-time catcher so awesome. then. And um, I think she got Kim to introduce her and she could hardly speak. She was just like, I, I, I can't. And yeah. we heard about it for months. She was so excited. My, it was amazing. My dad said to me, my dad helps uh, train Hannah before lead up of nationals. And he said to me, Kim, Hannah really, really wants to meet Tani. And I was like, well, that's fine. Like, <laughs> what's the big deal? Like, and then um, <laughs> she was walking over with, I remember she was walking over with uh, the whole Queensland 15s team and I'd never met Hannah. So I didn't even know her. And I was like. It was just through me yeah. <laughs> as well. And I yeah. was like, hey, Hannah. And she's like, uh, and like got all the awkward looks. Starstruck by and him I, first, I was like, then Tani. I was like, hey. <laughs> so am I. And I think Tani and I might have just been watching another game. And I was like, um, I'm like, hey, Hannah. And she like looked around like kind of shocked. And I was like, oh. Did you know this is Tiny Lovering? Like, did you want to meet her? And like her <laughs> whole her whole sixteens team just like kept walking because they were kind of like, oh my god, what's happening? And then Hannah just kind of froze and was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it was yeah, it was 
they had a conversation and stuff, but it was just that whole like, oh, I don't know what to say now. Like now this is happening. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? That's and so she'll just cool. laugh at this later and be like, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll deny it. But I think that's that's a cool thing. I, I found when I uh, commentated the showcase last year, and I was reaching out. There's a lot of new players, Madison Heath, all these new players. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I don't know who you are. I reached out to everyone on Facebook, got them to fill some stuff in. And the cool thing was is they were saying that all their heroes at the moment were current players. Yeah. Like they were yeah. writing Bronwyn or Shay or Tani or things yeah. like that. I was hoping they'd write me. Um, <laughs> I'll just say it. No, they are. We'll fill um, one in for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, just, I made it up. Um, and I think that is awesome, the fact that, that now we're in a generation of people can have heroes of women's baseball and also play alongside them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and you guys making such an impact and you've um, gone across. And, look, um, Hannah could be joining us any second, but um, – so to with Queensland, you're going back to Queensland. They had a double header as well. Yeah, today. they had a hard so, day. A big day. day. And like honestly, if I recap, I remember a few of those. <laughs> I don't know if it's just <laughs> a thing or if it's do. yeah, yeah. So it was. It's a really big day. And again, like Hannah, for example, catching the first and then coming out and having that yep. second game. That's big. Yeah. Um, and also not just that they had a double header, but the first game didn't go great either. So it's how do you bounce back from that? And it wasn't much yeah. of a time frame either. It was like one to the next, deep into the tournament. Like there's lots of factors there. Yeah, there. Um, I think it was about an hour. Um, yeah. And we talk about double headers. I I was a I didn't mind double headers. I didn't like the night game or the late game and then the early game. Yeah. I hate it. Like you you I reckon you two would have played the nationals where we had morning games. Mm. I think yes. they've gone out the window now. Morning yes. games are not. <laughs> I remember uh, not f- been... having quite a few long days in Ipswich when we were with Country New South Wales and um, Tammy yep. was, wasn't even playing then. I don't even think you were old enough. I was young. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, because I would have been like 16 and it was double headers every day. It was a year. I, I don't know the full story, but apparently Victoria requested it, <laughs> is all I remember. <laughs> and thinking, Did we? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> And thinking, we wanted, oh my God. we were good yeah. then. We wanted to play. Oh, well, that <laughs> you know, well, hang on. Yeah. Ipswich was two thousand and six. Yeah. Well, that worked out well because we lost yes. that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was double header after double header. And I remember being like, our team was so young that pitching was so hard to get through the tournament yeah. because it was just everyone on restrictions and trying to make it work to survive the tournament because we weren't in a position that was going to be in finals contention. But um, mm. it was just surviving like and getting through everything and getting everyone exposure to possibly make an Australian team like and yeah I want to ask you oh here oh, we go Anna. we've got a Hello, guys. we've got a drop in we've got a drop in in the dark she's in the back of the truck, of the truck. <laughs> I was about to go she's hit a nightclub in Adelaide we don't know where she is we've lost her she's have you been put in the boot I think she's in the gear van <laughs> are, you, are you in the back of the know. gear van is, is there better? a light does it take does a teammate oh, have masking. a? Oh, she's got a mask. She's co- she's COVID safe. I am. Ha- Hannah Marshall, can you hear us? All right. Yeah, I can. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear yes. you. No, thank you. We have just had a long soppy story about how you absolutely went weak at the knees when you met Tani Lovering. Is this correct? <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't deny. That was little she Hannah. Didn't deny. <laughs> I was Tell us about. <laughs> <laughs> she admitted it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I think Kim pulled me over and I hadn't really met Kim ever before. <laughs> and she was like, oh, are you going to go meet Tiny Lovering? And I was like, oh, <laughs> so I was pooping myself. <laughs> I remember that. I just want to know, is um, <laughs> Hannah, are you going to paint a house or? <laughs> COVID restrictions. COVID's- COVID so unfortunately we've yeah we've had some COVID restrictions but um uh, Hannah so tonight obviously not the not the result for you in Queensland but a huge day for you catching the first day pitching the second day how are you feeling right now uh I'm looking forward to sleep that's all yeah my arm's pretty well deserved (laughs) it's hanging off but it's there How's the mood amongst Queensland? Obviously, obviously a double header. Um, and we were just talking before about how young the team is, mm. um, and obviously being led by Toro. And how's it been for you for these this week so far? And you've wrapped up your six games now. Day off tomorrow. At least you've got to yeah. Um, can sleep in. I reckon even though we kind of lost that game, we were still pretty happy. Like it was kind of it was really fun. It was more fun than the big game from our perspective. They just out hit us, and that happens. So, um, but it was fun. It was fun. 
Mm. And for for you, your Service Paradise Baseball Club, is that correct? Yeah. Yep. And um, how how long have you been base, playing baseball? Because it looks like you've been playing <laughs> since you could walk. Like you just uh... are, you're one of those players that hits a field and you just look like you own it. How <laughs> how, how long and when, why did you start playing baseball? Um, I think I was... 12 or 13 maybe on the 10 maybe i'm not sure um and i actually came from softball in new south wales and then cool. i came up we'll yeah and i came up and i switched <laughs> yeah yep. and you 2019 youth nationals mvp so that's a pretty huge last youth nationals that was held. You sent youth MVP and you're now a catcher slash pitcher. What <laughs> slash shortstop, slash what? second base, slash, slash outfield, short- like slash center field, <laughs> slash, slash you can, <laughs> you're just going to have a slash now, no position. You're just going to be <laughs> slash. Um, slash. Just the big what, you. <laughs> yeah, utility. Just, are you, what is your favorite position? What are you hoping to go into? Oh, just on the field, honestly. I don't, I like all positions. <laughs> I knew that would be the answer, Hannah. <laughs> that, is the, that is the best answer I've ever yeah. heard. It's fun everywhere. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't mind. And this is like... Hannah, tonight I was watching you on the mound and I had all of these flashbacks of like how much I had to battle with Hannah. <laughs> and this was years ago, yeah. Hannah, when we used to train together yeah. of her just being able to get on that mound. And the moment that I seen you walk on it, you started laughing and I was like, here it goes. <laughs> she just laughs the whole way through this. And I, I can't say that I'm any different, <laughs> um, but it was just cool to see you go out there and just own it. Like yeah. you just did it. You knew that that was your job. The team needed you. And that's Hannah to a T it's you ask her to do something she'll do it so she is a hundred percent telling the truth when she says I just want to play (laughs) and she'll play anywhere so outfield used to be a battle it was I hate outfield I hate outfield then it was hey hey hey, outfield's great (laughs) I I agree (laughs) but yeah you did well Han thanks Tammy um, and also, what was it like throwing, obviously, Amanda Torrington, the, <laughs> the leadership that she has on that team? Um, an amazing performance from her, 120-something pitches the other day, the full game, two hits, two, two RBIs and that walk-off loss. But what's it been like throwing to her? <laughs> it was really funny that every time she would put down, like, two, just got a massive grin on her face. <laughs> it was funny, Ad. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, um, what are you what are you up to on your day off tomorrow? Uh, I think I'm going to catch up with some family and go on old. Yeah, yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, well, we'll let you go. I have one last question. I've read in a bio that you're apparently an Toronto Blue Jays and Atlanta Braves fan. How do I get <laughs> oh, you to <this>? <laughs> ditch, ditch the Blue Jays oh. and just cheer for the Braves? Look. How do I get that to happen? Because oh. you got to get that. You got to sort that out. If you want to be Amy's favorite, not going to happen. <laughs> if you want to be my friend, you need to ditch the. Are you a massive Braves fan? Okay, it's podcast. It's podcast is, is over. If you said no editing. You've taken am I a, Yeah, am I a Braves fan? Okay, this is we definitely over. <laughs> you need to go stalk um, okay. Amy on Facebook, Hannah. This is a good. <laughs> this is a good answer. You need to light the outfield and light the Braves, and then I'll like. <laughs> like no, it's all good. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. We'll um Bye, we'll speak to you soon. I don't know if they can hear me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll just, I'll message her. Oh, okay, I'm back. I can hear you guys now. <laughs> Gone through a okay. tunnel. Okay. We'll, st- we'll, we'll, st- yeah. we'll stop talking about it. Now I'm going to say, we'll, we'll let you go. Thank you. Um, go do some recovery. Have a great day and then see you on the, on uh, Thursday on the final day. Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Good luck, Anne. See you later. Bye. Well, there you go. Um, I'll message. I'll just message Jordan and see see where she's going. She's, she's probably, on the party bus. Um, I saw Jordan. Sure. She she's she, probably doing she's, some Instagram stories. She's not on the party bus. She runs she the runs party bus. The party yeah. bus. <laughs> Jordan. My first meeting of Jordan was at the showcase last year um, in mm-hmm. Adelaide, and I got on the bus a couple of times. And not only did I feel very very old. Um, yes, I was learning the TikTok dances. I was learning just how loud the music is with the youth of today. I'm sounding really old. But well, Lord, Ames, she you, was running you that bus. Were all, um, going to World Cup and then, you know, on the bus being told you have to stand up and do the anthem or something like that as a rookie. And, yes. um, yeah, we, we thought we'd get Jordan with that on her first one and she just owned it. She was parading oh, up she would. and down the bus 
And was she doing yeah, a rap or something? I, I proud got up and did a rap. What she did, but I think every day she was up in the bus singing something all the way up and down, up and down. Her and Barky. Mm. Oh, yep. her and Barky would have been an absolute. Yeah. That would have been yep. an absolute. I would pay yep. to watch that. That would there be. There was Foxy amazing. too. Foxy was and there Fo- as well. <laughs> but um, have you seen, Ames, have you seen um, uh, Jordan's Hold on. Insta today? Um, I think we're back. Sorry. I might have. Freezed up. Yeah. Dropped out a little bit <laughs> there. It's it's Melbourne. It's cold. I don't That's know what's it, happening. Bro. We're in probably <laughs> 15 different time zones. Have you um, seen um, Jordan's Jor- Insta today? I have you, you not. Definitely so if we're going to get on that, her and um, Brie Green have been going like uh, against each other competing. Um, and it's an entertaining okay. um, um, story. Okay, when she jumps in, we will get her to um, we'll get her to <laughs> tell us her, her uh, yeah. handle, um, and then maybe we'll put a link in this. So yeah, Jordan Richardson today. She came out. She had RBI single in the first, RBI triple yep. in the yep. nine run inning. Um, second, I, I was going to say third or fourth, um, but it just felt like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's been interesting. She's um, spent some time at shortstop, and we know her as. Um, well, I guess as as a player, as as a player, where would you see her fitting in? Uh, she's always been previously uh, mainly the third baseman or pitcher. So um, yeah, I know in her junior years in New South, like she did play a little bit of shortstop. Um, but me personally, like I only recall her being the a third baseman and um, and pitcher. So it's been different seeing her at shortstop. Mm. That's for sure. Mm. Yeah, I think Lulu's moved over to the hot corner and, and Jordan's yeah. come in. Well, it was um, always kind of to... mixed between like um, uh, me and her kind of always chopped and changed between third and short. Um, one year it would be mainly Lulu playing short. The next year it would be mainly me and then the other one that third and we just kind of <laughs> chop and change. But I think that's the thing with New South is it's always everyone's been um, an infielder, an all-round infielder because when someone comes to the mound, yep. the other person comes across and fills that spot. So everyone's been quite um, – versatile on the infield like your outfield usually kind of stays pretty much the same and then the infield chops and changes with depending on who's on the mound Hmm. um now to tomorrow i know jordan's just about to join us but tomorrow we've got new south wales wa can't wait (laughs) on a back diamond baseball australia has finally seen the wisdom in their scheduling and they've announced they're going to live stream that game which thankfully because i was running around trying to get parents from victoria to live stream that game because we wanted to watch it um i think they said they moved it to diamond care to make, one now i think they've all been moved yeah. to diamond one yeah so do we do we um want to make any predictions what do we reckon put your hand uh, over your blue yeah. socks new south wales yeah i know i <laughs> wa have been fighting like they've got that fight in them like they've shown that in those two games that um, nothing is yep. going to beat them. That they like, you know, I I honestly turned the game off yesterday at ten. Uh, it was ten five, and the oh, blowout. Turned it off, went to mm. bed because I was like, got work tomorrow, and then all of a sudden wake up to see the score, and I was like, you're kidding me! Like I've just missed a brilliant game. Um, so I don't. Mm. I New South are fighters as well, but um, the Heat are on that roll at the moment, so it's going to be a tough one. Yep. Yeah, what do you reckon, Tammy? I'm going to go WA just to, you know, throw that in there. No, but, again, they're fighters. They always are. They just – they never stop. Um, and, obviously, off the back of two walk-off situations and things like that, I think they've got some belief in there and mm. um, that that might carry them through. But I, I do. I hope it's a really good game. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that it will be. Yeah, I, I have a feeling, I'm, and I'm really hoping it is, I reckon it's going to be something like a – Four three four two ball game that is just yeah. an absolute pitching, absolute. Yeah, I that's not hoping. Extras. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Extras was I was so nervous. I was messaging. <laughs> if Nat. you watched last night, so you wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, Nat, Nat and I were ready to go for the podcast, then we're just like yeah. seventh, eighth, ninth, and I'm like, both of us are yeah. old now, and we're like, we need to go to bed. Yeah. But it was like, yeah. yeah, no, it was really good. So, um, while we wait for Jordan, we're just gonna. I want to talk about you two. Um, obviously, you're wearing Queensland and New South Wales at the moment, but I want to take it. I want to take you, <laughs> want to take you way back because obviously you guys started. For anyone that is really now who doesn't know, Country New South Wales, Country New South Wales was a team. <laughs> they were a thing, yeah. and they were 
some country New South Wales teams were amazing. Like we, I think we spoke about it in a couple of podcasts, or it might have been in the dribble of Brook and Tani and I talking for like two hours after the podcast about how good some of those country teams were. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, tell us about how you guys grew up, how you got into baseball. Yeah, how it all started. Tell me you want to start, or <laughs> do you want to go? Okay. <laughs> uh, we grew up in um, yeah a small country town. Uh, our immediate town only had a couple of hundred people. Um, and we, uh, parents, my mom was Jordo. into softball, kind of moved to a country town. Oh, yeah. yes. oh you're just into the story about how Hello. she started baseball. Jordan's coming, <laughs> ruined the whole story. I apologize. All I good. Apologize. You're way more interesting, <laughs> no, Jordan. We we will... that. Oh, I don't know. I've seen. <laughs> we will come back to you. <laughs> we'll come back to you, Tammy. We'll come back to you. It's all good. No worries. Um, Jordan Richardson, congratulations. Uh, thank you. On the win. Thank you very much. How's how's the mood amongst the team now? Obviously after that win, but ahead of tomorrow, we are all we've got. I've got my popcorn already oh, cooking man. for tomorrow's I game. Popcorn, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> no, nah, it's going to be a good one. I feel it. I feel it. Um, we're all definitely very happy after that win today, um, and it just gives us uh, what's the word here? Obviously, getting us pumped up for tomorrow. Got the momentum behind you now, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Always got you back, Jordo. Do you have a uh, winning? Do you have a winning Instagram post that's going up You're... tonight? Like, I've been, I've seen your uh, social media presence at the moment. Oh, yeah. That's part of this momentum. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. Obviously, I started. You have to keep that yeah, going. It's tradition 100%. now. No, our starting pitcher today. He did an absolutely wonderful she job. Sure Green. Um, she's a she's a killer on the Instagram. I uh, just had to follow suit. Yeah, I think you guys need to step it up before tomorrow. <laughs> so what? You, what's your... I want to see those uniforms out in the field. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll so what, what are the handle? What are the handles? Give a shout out to all our listeners so people can hit you up on uh, Insta or TikTok. What are your handles? Oh, mine is at Geordie Richardson, dot Richardson, Geordie dot Richardson. And we got at Brianna Green. That's it. Plain That's it. Good. Okay. Thank us later. Yeah. Quality content. We'll um, be hitting you up. So, um, Jordan, we were just having a bit of a chat about New South Wales, a bit of a different looking team, and you're one of, I guess, one of the leaders of the team now, and you've also moved across to shortstop. What's um, what's this campaign, this team, been like for you? Uh, it's been really good. Um, yeah, we definitely have a, a pretty young team, I'd say, um, coming into this year, and it was obviously a bit different to what you usually see, um, definitely from when I started. Um, where I played to now, it's a big, big change. Um, and obviously I haven't had as many of role models as I used to there, um, which kind of kind of sucks, but, you know, I kind of have to step up, I guess, which is really, really weird to say because I You're very, um, very I mature. See myself. <laughs> oh, am I? You see? <laughs> you see? Very, no, you, you've always been a leader on the field, mate, whether it's at club level or here, and the younger ones always draw to you because of your characteristics to mm. it. So um, I think you're the perfect person for that job to get the people on board and upbeat because, mm. you know, nothing knocks you down. Like it, even if you you uh, had that ground ball, that wasn't the best thing today, but, you know, you didn't drop your head. You just kept moving on and got the team and got the job done. Yeah, you got to, I've got to give a lot of credit to um, Lulu was on my right side there at third. Um, you know, she's been kind of my hero growing up. Um, and, you know, to have her there next to me uh, really definitely got me out of that um, for sure. But, yeah, I mean, I just love to have a laugh and have a smile with everybody. And, you know, you don't laugh, you cry <laughs> is how That's I it. it. So you got to laugh it out. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> It's very good having all these, you know, young girls because I feel like I'm always young at young at heart. I feel like no matter how old I get, I'll always be young at heart. That's so, it. Um, no, it's it's a very good vibe, I say. Yep. Um, you talk about being young. You 16 year old. You made your Australian team debut at the World Cup in Korea. Played alongside both of Kimmy us Matt. and Tammy. Yeah. Um, oh, and Tammy yeah. too. Oh, that was sorry. A, they're both there. Apologies. <laughs> Apologies, I keep, keep saying my brain doesn't is not yeah. suiting me as well. But no, both of you, um, I haven't played obviously in the Australian team, but yeah, tell me about that 16-year-old World Cup, Korea. Uh, you know, awesome. it was definitely an experience and I, you know, to this day always see it as a learning curve for me. Um, I didn't necessarily feel like I played my best or, um, you know, 
absolutely killed it. Um, but the things that I learned from, from those girls, you know, it's something that you don't, you don't get to experience all the time. And I was just over the moon to be there and so happy to be able to just play alongside those girls because, um, you know, they're absolutely amazing. Tammy and Kimmy, you know, I've, I've grown up watching Kimmy. Um, and it's definitely, you know, I take a lot from her, especially when it comes to my pitching. Um, and, you know, watching Tammy in the outfield is just amazing. Mm. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, oh, I don't want to swear, sorry. It sucks a lot not, uh, not being able to, not being able to see them here. Um, but, but yes, um, I also, you know, got to get, you know, coached by, coached by Simone. Simone, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so <laughs> it was it was a long long time ago. It was like it was a long time ago. six man, years ago. Uh, yeah, and obviously you know her being a pitcher herself, I think I, you know, you, you can't really learn anything. Or you can't learn more. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, I just felt like I was just learning a hell of a lot there. Um, you know, and just over the moon. You know, being sixteen, being able to travel. You know, being around all these amazing players. It's, you know, coming close to none, so I was very happy to be there for sure. Uh, and and we talk; it's very obvious that you, you play for the love of the game. But you, play, you do you have a goal for playing in, playing in another Australian team as well? So what was that? I was going to say it's, it's clear you play for the love of the game. It's yeah. so evident. But are you, do you have another Australian team as the, as your goal as well? Oh, hundred um, percent. You know, ever since I was young, I just wanted to be the best. Um, and, you know, sometimes you get humbled a bit and you realise that, you know, you're maybe not as great as you, you think you are, um, but you always come back and be better. And I feel like, um, especially with, with all this COVID, you know, and obviously everything's run off track, um, you know, you always keep those goals in mind. And, yeah, 100%. That's always going to be it for me. That's it. I think, also awesome. this well, is probably, we'll... like... Um, you, the best I've seen you in shape, like fitness wise and strength, like you look strong as in the batter's box. Um, I didn't get to see you on the mound the other day. Um, but I hope to see you out there maybe tomorrow, maybe, maybe just taken. Mm. (laughs) Do we, do we have, do we have an inside goss on the line (laughs) tomorrow? We don't share New South, we can't get it from me, right? (laughs) Yeah, everything, you know. I promise I'd tell you. I can't keep saying <laughs> We might see it in the Insta story later tonight. Oh, we will. We will know if... <laughs> is it, does, does your Insta story be... Is that your, your recovery? I know it's all specific <laughs> recoveries these days. Is your movement... Is that your, like, mobility? Oh, 100%. Sometimes you've got to work. climb up to, 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 to scary places. You know, to make sure your body stays. She fit. just does her stretching like in cupboards, yeah. on top of yeah. cupboards. She's really flexible. That's it, my flexibility <laughs> off the off chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, well, thank you. We'll let you go. Um, really good luck tomorrow. We're we're all, all looking forward to that game. It's gonna everyone's gonna be tuning in. So um yeah. I'm on the fence. I'm happy to I'm obviously no, back in New Jordan. Whoever <laughs> wins we'll be going. We need, to, we need to verse you guys again. That's good luck, it. Jordy. That New South yeah. gold. New South gold. <laughs> That's it. We're going for it. We're hungry. <laughs> well, good luck. Um, we'll let you go. And, um, yeah, hopefully, who knows, see you in that gold medal game on uh, on Thursday. Sounds good. Good luck, Jordy. Keep entertaining. Bye. See ya. There you go. She, um, I agree with you, kids. She's a character. She's looking yeah. as fit as I've ever seen her, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and I love the f- fact, like, I, lo- I love the fact that she wants other people there, like you guys and, and those older players, but I love the fact that she has, she's actually been forced to step up. Yeah. I think that's good for her 100%. and good for the team. That's what I, like, I'm really proud of her because when we went to Korea, she was, she was 16. Um, she's the life of a party, but you could see her confidence wasn't really there. Yeah. Um, and obviously that comes with age and like, honestly, it's a totally different person that we just spoke to that what I remember, yep. I'm like, wow, like she's grown into it. She's just owning it. She's loving it. So it's fantastic to see. So good. Well, that's really cool. She interrupted your story, um, about how you started okay. baseball. You were st- starting in a town of only a hundred people. Um, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So we, we grew up in a country, New South Wales town and we didn't have many, um, 
people around us. So we kind of grew up with convincing everyone to join up because we didn't have enough to make a team or we played, um, we got really flexible with the rules. So we played backwards baseball, like just because we then didn't have to have a, um, an outfield. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we played into the net um, because we didn't have enough to field. Um, so we, yeah, we just kind of grew up in a, um, our family, obviously really heavily involved. My brother, um, still over in America coaching. So he played for Australia, played for country New South Wales as well. Um, and then I watched, we didn't really know about women's. It was just, we would go to nationals to watch my brother and it was mm. just baseball for boys. So we kind of didn't um, know about it. Stumbled across uh, we always, the women's nationals in Tamworth was we were actually over playing on the softball oh, fields nice. for a rep state champs like our local state champs so we had oh, our, wow. our like all the country areas so it was like coffs harbour lismore tweed heads kempsey port macquarie were all over there playing and i remember saying to my mom yep. was what's going on over at baseball like because in the country everyone knows what's going on because that's part of our little region and um she was like oh, i don't know like let's go check it out so we walked over and all of a sudden we're like they got new south wales and Victoria on the buses and stuff like you had the signs up and that and then we're like wait they're all yeah girls. they're all girls and I was like mom like how come I haven't been told about this and she was like well I don't know like because she's like I don't know anything about it so then that's when um we were lucky that my like our parents ran our local comp so then mum had the ability to go and yep. talk to the committee and find out um from like country New South Wales like what the deal is which at that time, neither of us were old enough to actually play. Um, but that's when we first, like, first stumbled across it. And then the next year I was trialing, like, and, um, well, the ne- sorry, the next year I went to trials and then I was only 13. And then they said, oh, you can't, you actually have to be 14. And I was like, but what if I just turn 14 just after that? And they were like, no, you can't. So they let me do the trials and I did all the testing, but I wasn't allowed to actually go away because I wasn't old enough. So... Oh wow! So what you're saying is we should we should hold all our women's nationals yeah. next to softball na- events, so yeah. we can try and get, <laughs> get more players okay. that way. That's a great. That's a great idea. Well, I'm not sure that everyone will love that idea, but like you know, we, we both played in both baseball and softball the whole time. It was just that we just didn't know that you had yes. that opportunity. Like we always knew that you could trial for the boys' teams, but you know, it, it was always going to be harder for our nationals to make those kind of things. Which country New South Wales. Um, you did see some girls play at under-14s nationals, quite a few, like your Britt Hepburns, Mindy Latimer, Maddie Leonard, uh, well, Maddie mm. Cabret, sorry, um, Claire O'Sullivan, uh, Cassie Clark, Michelle Tallon. Like, there was a whole bunch yeah. that went through um, and played <laughs> at the national level. So, um, And that was all. They were still too young to play women's, and then they transferred over into the women's program, but it was fantastic to have that talent come through. Yep, yep. Um, Tammy, I see your camera's gone. Don't stress because it records all your stuff and uploads it. So we keep talking like you're still here. Um, it's all good. It's crazy because I can see it, but that's weird. Anyway, that's sorry. Good. Um, yes. Yeah, because I think Renee Stromani's was in at one point in country. In uh, Mindy Re- Latimer. Renee just came back. Like, um, it was, I think, after she left New South Wales and she just played the one year there. But um, coming that's through, right, yeah. like, um, Australian players that actually played that country, you had um, uh, Stacey Sagas. Um, Julia Fellows. Uh, I don't want to miss anyone. Yep. Um, Britt Hepburn, <laughs> Britt Hepburn, no, I, Mindy Latimer, yep. um, Claire O'Sullivan, Elodie O'Sullivan, Tammy, myself. Um, uh, I feel like there's one more. Um, I should. Yeah, I feel I like. Know. Yeah, Britt. You said oh, Britt. Yeah, didn't Steph Gaynor. Steph Gaynor. Um, and that, so we, we had quite a few there, but some people just realised, like I know uh, we, we had a bit of a period where like players left country and got, went to New South, but no one really understands the reason behind why those changes happen. And a lot of it is that players actually move from the country to the site. So me personally, I moved to Sydney and then was like, well, I can train three days a week with New South Wales. It's 10 minutes from my house or country we train yep. once a month for two days like so we train the full weekend from nine till five saturday and sunday and then we don't see each other for another month so looking at your chances yep. and knowing that we're still it's still the same state we're still representing our state but 
it was the chance of how do yep. you make that starting lineup for Australia, and that's that's the change that happened. Like we wanted to be able to train more with the high performance programs in New South, and that and meet more. So the ch- that's where the change started yep. to follow, and then people realize that like oh what a great opportunity it was doesn't mean that we ever forgot where we came from like i would i still assist with um country um with peter hewish contacts me regularly like when the girls they actually enter some country teams into the queensland state cup um for junior girls and stuff so we still know where we came from like it's not like we just left and forgot yeah, yeah, and yourself, Tammy. You obviously came through country as well. Your first, I think, Kim, you started two thousand and five yeah. yeah. nationals, and Tammy a couple of years later, two thousand and seven. When did you make the switch to yeah. Queensland, and okay. how did that come about? Um, so I, <laughs> I was um, fourteen. I, I can't you changed what year to it Queensland. Was. It must have been, I don't know, but it was over in Perth. No, I, when I started with country. So I did like four years with country and then um, I actually moved up to the Gold Coast um, in year 12. And I had a really cool opportunity to kind of extend my softball world, um, but also go to a high school where baseball was a subject. Like I actually, I go to baseball class. Yeah, to go to this so, school. Um, sports are. Yeah, so Rabina State High is where Ava Dixon from Queensland goes, uh, Georgina Day, like, Taylor Welsh was there. It was only Taylor. Taylor was the only female at the school at the time. Um, there's a lot more girls that can like that go there now. But um, at the time, I kind of had met Taylor through going to nationals and playing against her, and then found out about this school. And I was like, "Wow, like that's pretty cool." And we're all moving like, to Queensland. Kim and I, yeah, Kim and I used to drive. We used to play in the Sydney comp because it was the only women's comp that we ever played in. Um, and that was the closest to us. So it was a 10 hour round trip every week. So we would, our principal let us leave school on a Friday at 12 o'clock and we would drive the five and a half hours, play that night and we'd drive five and a half back to play in our local on Saturday. So it was a 10 hour round trip every single week just to play in the women's comp in Sydney. And that was from Kempsey? Were you from Kempsey? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Jeez, so, that's commitment. That is commitment. Yeah, the O'Sullivan's did it too. Like they, they're from Kempsey as well. So they, they joined us. We all wow. did it together for a few years there and they obviously moved as well. But um, yeah, so it kind of got to the point that like, why wouldn't I change that up and kind of go to a place that I don't have to give up 10 hours a week just to travel to one game. I can live on the Gold Coast and train t- again, like Sydney, 10 minutes down the road and yep. and go to a school that was – yeah, baseball was a subject. My friends would go to maths or something, and I'd go to baseball, so I couldn't this complain. This is amazing. Um, and, yeah, so that was 2010. 2010 was my first year uh, with Queensland and obviously been with them since, and they stuck by me even when I moved to the Northern Territory. Um, I still played for Queensland. They allowed that, so I'd just meet them at the tournament um, and and stuff. So, yeah, Queensland up. <laughs> But definitely remember my grassroots as well. We had a great time with country. It was awesome. Yeah, you, t- it, you always seem to have a – you're really fun. I thought it was funny. I think, Victoria, we were always very business-like. And I look at WA, they were like the mm-hmm. – I said it to last night. They had swagger. They just – they were cool. They were just – just I swear yeah. God, they went to cool class. And then New South Wales where they had more fun, <laughs> a little bit more like us, business-like. But country, you guys, you played hard. You were just a real – really good team. And I miss – We miss were actually – just talking about this the we other were day, um, was that um that so we, like we were more cash and pranksters and stuff like a bit more like Geordie and that but I I remember that's how Nat Rawlings and I actually met was in 2007 nationals um me, myself and my roommates were quite young and WA was in our same hotel and we were like let's just do some knock and runs on these guys like and so we had one of the girls in our team, I can't remember who it was, but had a um, video recorder that back when that was like cameras were cool. Yeah. And so we were like setting it up at people's doors and like we stole some witches hats from around the street or something and we were making barricades and then we'd knock on their door and run and one of the WA girls got fed up with it. So she stole my thongs because my thongs fell off as I was running away. And um, so she took it inside and I thought, oh, man, now I've got to actually knock on the door to get my shoes back. And um, so that's where <laughs> part of the joke of me never wearing shoes kind of comes from is that because I was walking around the hotel with no shoes on because she's got my thongs. like. And um, That's yeah. right. Yeah, so 
And now that makes all make sense. Everyone talks about you know, yeah. not wearing shoes for years at World Cups. I'm like, I, I never yeah. was never like in that I, joke. I hate oh my shoes God, in I general, lies. but yeah. Um, we also grew up in the country. Yeah, well. um, <laughs> then Nat Rawlings just happened to walk down the hallway, and I said to her, "Mate, like your teammate stole my shoes," and she's like, "What do you mean she stole your shoes?" And then we like then actually told her the story, and then she was like, "Fantastic, I'm joining in with you." So then she knew all the rooms. So then we started doing to all the rooms, and then we just kind of hit it off from there, like. <laughs> so one thing about nationals is too yeah. much too much well, we had time. plenty of it that year <laughs> that was the the dangerous part about when we were in canberra and we'd all stay yes. together it was yeah. just like pranks galore yeah. i remember yeah. just chaos yes were you uh, on yeah. Queensland at yeah. that point because i, th- yeah. I think, I think I yeah, yeah, um yes yeah, sexo was taught so, yes, Sexo was talking about mm. all the pranks and people that were knocking on the door. She was convinced oh, that it was Johnny, but I got good up. word that... I remember that. I'm con- oh I know who God. it was. It wasn't Johnny, <laughs> but morning. I have good authority. Every I know morning. who it is. Like, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't me. It was, it, was a, it was a New South Wales player. She needed her sleep. She didn't like being disturbed. <laughs> she was preparing. But, yeah, look, so you guys, you've left country and you're playing for New South Wales and um, Queensland. And then, obviously, Kim, you... You hit the Australian team pretty early. You, 2008, and I was doing my stats because I love my numbers. You've played six World Cups, and I think I surprised you with that stat. There's only – Shay's played eight, Tani's played seven, and then there's four yeah, of us that played six. Yeah, I didn't realise that. That's pretty impressive stuff. Like Lulu, myself, Katie, and you have played six, and it's – that's – Yeah, I, like, pretty I proud of that. Not, like, like my number myself, <laughs> but I didn't realise – I thought like Katie and yourself and um, Sam and um, and them had had played more years. Like I forget that like you know that when I start playing with you, that's the same as when you guys played. Like it's not years on top of that. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's not our age. We yeah. haven't played just because we're. And old. I think I think that's part of like <laughs> when you get in young, it's kind of like when you're leaving, you're still young. So um, like it, yeah. it's weird because like I wasn't even thirty on the my, my last trip so yeah because oh, i just really? had tana my last one so he was born in january that one and we yep. went away that um august so i was 28 i think so um and then making that decision that i just didn't see myself being able to commit to training 100 percent with him and knowing that you know he's getting to an age where he realizes when you're gone um when he was under yep. under one he doesn't know if i'm out or there so um, I didn't feel as guilty for leaving him over night time. Like I still did everything for him. But um, those those three hour periods of going to training, he didn't know the difference. He was asleep um, and get home and he's awake. So, yeah. Yep. And you've done six <laughs> World Cups, so, you know, <laughs> it's okay. You've done enough. You've done, you done enough. <laughs> and, um, and yourself, Tammy, obviously first nationals in 20, 2007. And then you, you took a little bit longer to make that Australian team, but um, – 2016, you've, your first World Cup, and you two made you've made history because the Collins sisters, Amy Collins and Erin Collins, became the first sisters to play for Australia. Erin played 2012, mm-hmm. Amy played in 2014, but you two become the first sisters to ever play in an Australian team at a World Cup together. And I think like. A, that's an Australian record, but B, I'm not sure if there's any other sisters that yeah, have played at a World Cup. Yeah, that, that I know of. Like that's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So look, you've got yeah. the you've got the Australian. Obviously, we've, the O'Sullivans have both played for Australia now um, since that <laughs> in separate World Cups. But how cool is that? Like, yeah. how how proud are your parents? Uh, uh, I think you, you could look in their hallway. <laughs> they're, pretty proud. <laughs> they're, they're pretty proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it is it full on McMillan? Like, are you are you one side? Well, like, we actually like our brother Jill? played for Australia as well. So, like we um, said before, we have, yeah. yeah, of we have course. The, um, sorry, the three yeah. Australian jerseys. So yeah, he was the so first. There's a, there's a little bit of the the shrine there. Um, That's cool. How was it? How cool was it? So Tammy, you did you go, travel to any of the World Cups? And apology if, if you were at those World Cups. If I was at them, did you travel to any to watch? Yeah, thank you for remembering. <laughs> oh, I was cheering for you. I had a poster that said McCann. <laughs> Please say you didn't have a poster. No, my brain, no, my brain is going. I'm, everyone relies on me for all this information, and it's actually going out of my head. So I need to blow it down. No, um, what was it like watching? Your- <laughs> No, so I came to I came to Canada, um, and yep. that was obviously um, 
I was actually on my way to college softball, so it was the perfect timing. Oh. So I went to college um, straight after it. So uh, we flew there from Canada. So it was, yeah, it was really cool. It was, um, that was an interesting year. Um, I, I thought you guys did quite well. Um, and I don't remember absolutely everything, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was cool. It was obviously like I was kind of, I was in the squads at that time. Yep. So it was, it was a bit confronting at times to think, oh, I wish I was out there, of course, mm. uh, wanting to play and stuff. But obviously I still had things that I needed to work on and get better at. Um, so it was really cool, like a cool insight to go, okay. Uh, but I was also stepping away from baseball at the same time. So it was a bit of a weird time. I was always going to college. So, um, that was already planned that I was going to go play softball. Um, again, it doesn't really matter the game. That's a high league over there. So I was still competing, um, yep. and practicing and stuff. So, but yeah, it was really cool. It did come a lot, um, longer for me. I had to be quite patient. Uh, but again, I, I think I'm, Simone said that I was the first person that's ever said thank you for cutting me uh, because I really had to delve into my weaknesses. Yep. I couldn't just kind of go, okay, well, I'll just keep working harder. I actually had to step into some uncomfortable areas and go, all right, so I'm not really good at this. How can I make this better? And I actually had that time to work on my mental side more than my physical. I'm not the strongest. I'm not the fastest. Yep. Uh, we can't all be. And I yep. totally know that. It was just how can I compete? So that's when I I started to work on my mindset. And I think, um, yeah, that got me across the line eventually. I don't think I got any better. I just think it was more my, my approach and my mentality. But I definitely had some bonuses of being around Kim and obviously seeing her work ethic and yep. um, watching her journey was fantastic. My brother, the same, one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in my life. So very fortunate to be around that. Um, I, I can say that, yeah, I was very lucky. That's awesome. And what was it like when you both got selected and then after that, when you both got to compete with each other, like you're pretty close as, as sisters. What was it like well, being there with your sister? Like. Well, it was still a little bit weird because we're in different states. Like it wasn't like we trained together or we really see each other. It was just kind of turn up to the tournament yeah. and that was like our reunion time. And funnily enough, they, they, oh. yeah, they roomed us together oh. and we looked at each other like, oh, are you no. serious? Why would you do that? <laughs> Which it, it worked out fine. Like I, I can kind of see why, but it was like, the, I'm not going to lie, there was times that we were just like, oh, my God. Did you, like, put a piece of tape but down the middle of the room? She's on my side. <laughs> but then, you know, yeah, like, you, know you have so the, it like, did. Mom it was interesting. So and then it's the time of, like, I wanted to get away from me. Like, I need my space. And I'm, I'm going out with mum and dad. And they're like, oh, Tammy's coming. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, you know, I need to, I need to get away. <laughs> like, yeah. We like, can't just ship her off to another family. I, I need to get away from her. We're roomed together in this block for, what is it, three weeks or something while you're there. So, um... And that was the thing. It was, like, even the pre-tournament like the pre-training stuff, we were roomed together and then we thought, it's okay, we'll just ride this out. We'll get to the tournament and then we, we can escape. And then they named it again. I like, Kim and Timmy, you're back again. And I was like, people, people, like, what yeah. the? <laughs> what? Like, we like, haven't lived together 18, since we so. were like, Kim moved out at 18. It, I was 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it was a lot. Do you, do you just go around to some of the other players and go, hey, Richardson, you're a rookie. Yeah. Yeah. Swat your roommates. <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, how funny! Yeah, but I, so, no, we survived. But... Well, I roomed with I yeah. with Kim in my last World Cup, so oh, no, please. I know what you're dealing with. No, I'm just. <laughs> No, no, I'm joking. You were like one of the She's pretty cruisy, you, thankfully. Ah, you, were, you were like one of the best. I mean, I better not say too much because Tani was my roommate at two World Cups. Um, but, no, you were awesome. I loved you having a Thank roommate you. in my final It was World good Cup. to. It was good. But that would drive me nuts as well because she's so cru. I'd be like, we've got to be ready. Like, I'm on to it. I'm a goody two shoes. And Kim's like, oh, it's fine. We've got I've done three World Cups. It's fine. I'm like, come on. Then I know the bus is not going to leave without so, me. No, but I, I do. I, mean, I remember uh, yeah. phone calls coming out, like, and knowing that Tammy had had a, a few upsets. And um, I think that was one of the hardest is, like, there'd be times when, I would look at how she went at the camp and think this is her this is her year, and like uh, I think it was yep. 2014. Um, I really thought like that she was in with a shot, yep. and I was like, this is the one. And um, and then it was that awkwardness of like, do I do I reach out and say, you know, I've received a phone call, or do I wait for her to come to me yeah. because I don't know the answer. 
and I don't want to celebrate and be like, yes, I've made it, and then find out that, you know, she hasn't because it's that awkwardness of how do you mm. celebrate but also, yep. yeah. And it's just naturally being the older sibling too. Like I am the youngest of two players who have played for Australia, so they both were in that tough position of like, we want you to get there, but it's, yeah. it's totally up to you. And I had to go through that. Like I had to yeah. really delve into that. And that's where like I've had many conversations with Simone and things over the years of, of saying like, that's why I had to delve in. That's why I thank you for cutting me because yep. I had to confront these things. I couldn't just ride Kim's wave. I had to go out and do it myself. Yep. Um, and that was even good that we were in different states. So when it, when I did it, it was, it, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like I said, I was, I'm, I've never been the fastest. I've never been the strongest. I, I've always just got kind of got the job done. Um, and, and just for girls watching this, like knowing that you don't have to be that, like, that's the biggest part for me was I always wanted to be the strongest and I wanted to be the fastest. It's not realistic for me. Um, uh, but there is a place for you on the team. Like I laugh and I was laughing before, uh, watching the game, thinking about, when Kim would go away and she'd crush it with New South Wales and I'm on Queensland and, and we did uh, over history, we can see that they usually beat us um, <laughs> and stuff. And, and I'd be out there and like, I can't hit as far as Kim, yeah. but like I would laugh because Kim would walk away and she'd have the hitting award and I'd go away and I'd have the on-base percentage. <laughs> and like, we would celebrate. I was like, I got the most walks. Like, this is amazing. But there is a place in teams for those people. That's the great like, thing about baseball. The thing. Yeah, yeah, baseball will find. Absolutely. Because I, I mean, for anyone that doesn't know Kimmy Mack, like Kimmy Mack would hit the bottom of a camera, man. I think we named the whole of the outfield after you. Like the yeah. boomer. boomer. Like the way you would just yeah. absolutely, like you guys were scary. That New South Wales order, whether it was you and Katie or Brooke and you, yeah. or Brooke, you and Katie, um, it was freaky, but I, and I used to go, oh, I want to hit like all of them. And then I'd go and play a world cup and I'd yeah. bat after Kim. Um, there was Can a world cup, Canada, I think, yep. Ca Canada. I batted after you and I'm standing there going, <laughs> what the hell? How am I batting after someone who's putting <laughs> balls out at Canada? But then you really, you do, you realize you have your, you have your own jobs. Yeah. And that's what I love about baseball. Yeah. It's, it's really, yeah. yeah. And like we, like we were saying, we grew up playing men's, like we still, majority of the time we play men's, like we don't really have that. We, yep. We've started to get that competition, which is fantastic. Queensland, we've kind of ridden the waves of it. But for us, it was like, um, we always had to, I call it cheating, which it's, people usually say, no, it's not. But we always had to think differently because we weren't the strongest. Yes. We couldn't hit as hard. We can't run as fast. We can't like Kim will still pitch, but we don't throw as hard and, and stuff. So it always made us look at baseball differently. Yep, yeah, and I think right. as a family, we've you're done right. that a lot. Like it was something that if you sit down and have a chat, we'll bring things up that are a little bit different because we kind of had to go that way just to be able to take the field. Um, yeah. And we find that with a lot of our Queensland girls, even tonight we're watching it and saying the same thing. Like a lot of our girls don't get to play in these positions ever in the leagues they go to nationals and that's the first time they're playing shortstop because we play with boys we don't we're not the best shorts potentially not the best shortstop in that position yeah so i was really lucky as an point. outfielder i was like well I'll, everyone will let me play outfield like everybody <laughs> wants to play on the infield so i i have a different story but like i and i yeah i watch some of these young girls and it's like we need that women's competition and that preparation yeah. because they don't actually have that time where other states, I know when I played in New South Wales, you did get that time yep. because you were only around the girls. So, but then there was the bonus, like I say, playing with the men, it made us think differently. It's we like, had to um, really use our brains. Yeah. That was Queensland, the biggest part for um, us. Tonight, yeah. um, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, so I'm not going to try. Yeah, so we'll she, like, she's from sorry, um, sorry. Townsville and uh, a, a guy that I actually know oh, wow. um, that used to be from country that helped out with our country women's team, he actually lives up there, um, Michael Jamison, and he said to me the other day, he goes, watch her, she's lights out. Like she throws Div 1 men's in Townsville and just lights out to everyone. And that that's something that not a lot of the pitchers get to do up here is that um, yeah. the women's league that's up here actually played in the second half of it um, for the first time. They... It, it's a bit weird. Um, they pitch off a shorter distance, but they still base run off the full distance. So picking off is a little awkward because okay. it's not in line. Yeah. You're going <laughs> so behind it's, yourself. It's a little yeah. weird. 
but it's yeah. that's just how it works. It works. <laughs> I'm all for the shorter distance, particularly in lower grades <laughs> yeah. here in Melbourne. I'm all for. I think we should lower the pitching distances yeah, so in lower grades. I think we do. Should. It definitely and then you build up to, like, yeah. So yeah. Um, I actually had the opportunity to play in the grand final against um, Ipswich, which is Lindsay Campbell, Sandy Nicholson, and Toro's team. Um, so like yep. Toro throwing against – I didn't get to face Toro um, in the women's league. I was away the week that she played the team, Beanley, that I was playing for. Um, but the Beanley girls were absolutely petrified of her because she was just like it was like rockets yeah because at the shorter di- at the short was it what, uh, what was it was it yeah, 54 it was, or no 50? i would say it would be please don't say 50 it was it was around under 14s i can't remember what under 14s distance is but the front of the mound okay. i think like yep. when we played the grand final it was pretty much off throwing off flat so it was yeah it was it wow. was different but um those girls like have never seen that kind of pace which it evened up the games. Like we watched even the Division Two game beforehand. Their their pitches they could have been in our division. Like it made more people able to mm. pitch instead of just your one or twos that uh, are able to throw that full distance. So yep. um, some of these girls though that have now come from Queensland, like you'll see in the development team and the other team, is they haven't been pitching off full distance. So that's it. That is a downfall for them in coming up here. But yeah. They still have had their practice, their bullpens. It's no different in my eyes. It's no different to throwing a flat ground. You throw a flat ground as a pitcher at least once a week and then you get the mound time. So it, yep. even though you're throwing off that shorter distance, you are still throwing at a hitter. You are still in the game. You're still in the situation, everything else around it. So looking at it as just the shorter distance and how it's a disadvantage to you, that's how you take it as a mindset of is that a disadvantage or not. Um so the the yep. league itself is developing. They had we had in the after Christmas part they had four in Div One and um, I believe it was twelve in Div Two. So it it's high numbers. Like it's it's just that it's such a um, yeah a big distance between. Like I played men's as well, and um, we are the further south team. And then uh, Tammy, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Redcliffe is the furthest north and it's like a two and a half hour yeah. drive like just to get to the game so wow we, we can yeah, play so they call it the yeah. yeah they call it yeah. the greater brisbane league and it's not a lie yeah. it is a it's great like, area yeah. all the way out to ipswich <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well i think but that's how they even join you can join. call it that <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right out, exactly yeah. <laughs> same thing we, yeah <laughs> But that's been interesting for Kim as well to see from the way that New South Wales does things and obviously being heavily involved in the women's there for so long to then come up. And she'll ask me things like, why do they do like that? I, I'm like, that's just how we do I it. Like, I, don't, I don't know first, any different myself. The first myself. year I came up um, yeah. was 2019, the end of 2019. And I'd been here for like a month or something. And then the, there was a um, post up saying um, Gold Coast women's rep trials. And mum's like, oh, are you going to do this? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, what is it? Like, I have no idea. And Tammy was in Darwin. So I was like, oh, okay, what else? The guy, um, Kevin, messaged me, Kevin messaged and said, are you wanting to come and trial? And I was like, oh, why not? Like, And that's the first time I'd met really Hannah and um, Kai Foxwell and all them because they were in our team. And so I walk in and I remember them saying, um, oh, you're like you're Kim and I was like mate like I'm just like here I don't know what's going on this is your team like I just walked in and I remember being so nervous to turn up to state cup and thinking why am I so nervous like to play in a local competition like it's a rep thing but I just didn't know what to expect and like you know you've been to nationals so many times you know exactly what to expect I didn't have no idea what to expect here like I didn't know like I knew that um Taylor and Wags and um and Rach and all them were playing for other teams, but I was still, I was so nervous. And the girls were like, you look nervous today. And I was like, I am like, you guys have been here, done this, but I'm, I'm actually like a little nervous. Like, yeah, I still, nerves I are still great. get it all I still the time. But I, I was, mm. yeah. I get nervous watching. <laughs> I was just in our summer league yeah. when we were playing in a final, the girls are, I have like a couple of juniors that are playing nationals now and they're yeah. looking at me and I was going to vomit. We were like one run up mm. against Springvale and I was looking at just going, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm just like, and one of them turned to me and said, where do you want me to stand? I said, <laughs> I seriously can't talk to you. I'm about to throw up. 
And I was like, <laughs> I can't, I can't do, I can't say that. They're looking at me for, mm, but it's like exactly. that's why I keep playing. People ask why do you keep playing black bars, um, club ball? And it's like because yep. I keep loving yep. it. Like it's just great. Mm. And that's and then and, that, and yeah. that's so I um I'm go, I, we need to wrap it up. I know it's getting late and everything, but that leads me to my final question. You two have done. God, I mean, Tammy, you were saying you've played in nearly every state. You've both multiple World Cups for Australia, multiple nationals for two different teams. I want you to tell me what your favourite favourite memory, favourite part of your career Ooh. is for both of you. On oh, field to pick one. That's so hard. <laughs> Can be any, oh, it's always, it's funny, Brooke and Tani, it's funny how they, their memory's just <laughs> 90% off the field. And I'm the one that has mm. to bring them back. No, no, no. Remember when we played well, that I game? I, mess- when- I think I messaged. I it can think be I off the field. Yeah. It can be on the field. I'd heard one of their memories and then it just instantly made me think of my first yep. World Cup prepping, prepping to go to Japan and um, being in Sydney yep. and like literally was with country. So I knew no one um, other than Julia Fellows and that was it. I, and um, sitting yep. in the grandstands, wait, having lunch or something. And somehow I think we'd been practicing bunting on the field beforehand and then all of a sudden we get up the top and samantha yep. hamilton somehow ends up with a bat in between her toes and is now bunting with her toes <laughs> like who even tries that to start with oh quite, tammy have you if you haven't <laughs> hang on i've heard this story but i haven't is this yeah. seriously your favorite memory from your entire career or is this the just memory that's yeah. being, like etched into think, your brain like, what goes through your head to think, I'm going to try this. Yes, it's the trying. Um, look, if anyone's like, seen Samantha Hamilton's toes, their fingers. But I remember yeah. that. She was literally holding and she went left side, she went right side, she yeah. went left side. I'm actually doing it with my feet right now, but I'm wearing pyjamas. Like, so. But that's probably um, not my, not my like, all-time okay. favourite. But um, skill. Um, I'm really hoping honestly, it's Honestly, for me, it would be uh, 2010 um, World Cup in Venezuela. Um making that gold medal game uh, after like everything that went on in that tournament, being locked up, um, claustrophobic. like, I think like I remember having um, a meltdown halfway through the tournament because I, I, yeah, I think we all I, had, we I don't all know, had if, I don't know if it actually many. Knows, you know, but there was a night we walked around the block, like to get to a pe- that pizza restaurant. And we walked like six Ks one way to get back. And we could have walked like a hundred meters to get there. No, that was the night I wasn't there. Tani and Brooke and I spoke about this. I got really sick one day. Ah, uh, yes. And I got I locked in a room with Dom. Yeah. Dom and I were sick, and yeah, and I missed the shopping day. Yeah, I missed so, all this stuff so before we walked, everything happened. I missed. We it walked all. that distance. I missed all the and, fun. Uh, it was because I'd had a deep and meaningful with Johnny um, that morning about how like I can't handle these four walls anymore. Like I grew up in the country, mate. Like I I can't. We'd been in that lockdown for the what four or five days, um, in and out, just get off the bus from yeah. the field, on the bus, into the room, back cycle. And I said, I, I'm not coping. Yeah. Like I need to just feel like we're not trapped. And um, then that night he was like, because he, he um, obviously grew up a lot more country like than most as well. And he said, don't worry, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right there with you. Like so. Then that night he's like, um, yeah, the restaurant's yeah. like just over there, but we're gonna hike around this way to give you some time like because they they knew that the security would follow us obviously that night so that was really cool that um yep. he was willing to take on um players emotions like to how they were going to perform best and I think he got the best out of me at the end of the day like um yeah I think he got the best out of everyone I think everybody went through I remember some of the times there, like how scared I was and how it was, it was not easy for any of us. Like it would became, baseball just became the, not even secondary, baseball became the yeah. last thing. And I think that's why we played so well. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, we we're playing so, to get, I, yeah. um, I was, uh, I was part of the team, the Southern Stars that went over and played you guys yes, you in were. the yes. tournament in North Carolina. Yep. And funny, it's slightly funny, but it was scary at the time was we were actually at the Angels game when the shooting happened in Venezuela. So oh, we're really? sitting in the Angels Stadium at, at Los Angeles and Darren King was the coach and he said, Tammy, I need to talk to you and Steph Gaynor because Katie was over yep. there. So uh, with you guys, uh, can I talk to you guys? And we're yeah, okay. So we walk over and he's, I've got some bad news. 
and we were looking at him like what's going on and we were quite young at the time and um and yeah he said there's been a shooting and like the biggest pause ever <laughs> and we're looking at each other like and and he goes yeah there's been a shooting it's quite intense um but don't worry like katie and kim are fine and we, <laughs> why didn't you start with that? with that so we were beside ourselves we were just like we were both young and quite naive and we're thinking oh my god like lost my sister lost my auntie like it was just oh, wow. the most bizarre that... experience Jeez. so yeah we, we didn't really enjoy the game after that i can tell you that much but no. um, yeah it was interesting even from yeah being away from you guys and kind of going through that as a relative obviously so that was interesting yeah my parents um, heard it on the radio and my sister heard my sister heard oh. it on the radio in sydney and then my my mum heard it on the radio in she was up in, near Coffs Harbour and she went inside saying that the baseballs have been, because it got reported Australian yeah. women's baseball team were in a shooting and my mum's like, yes. dad's like, you've heard wrong. It's and funny that you said heard in Coffs Harbour. Yeah. 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 was in Coffs Harbour at Coffs Harbour baseball fields visiting some of our friends um, while we were there and my dad had just hung up the phone from telling her and she turned around to the parents going, oh my God, is Kim okay? What's happened? And mum was like, like I literally just found out myself, like, so she knew nothing other than um, me passing on a message to dad saying that we're safe. Don't listen to anything. We're safe. Like mm. the part that got us was, and like you said, it was, it was definitely advertised as being the Australian team. Yeah, it was. I've got and, screen grabs from newspapers. And we heard yeah. Australian team and shortstop and like Kim had kind of was dabbling around at shortstop. So we were like straight away, like, oh my God, it's Kim. Like it could be Kim, it's the really chances are. Like, so it was quite intense to experience away from the field too. <laughs> it was, and we talk yes. about it a lot. And I know the 2010 members, the 19 of us there, we talk about it a lot, but I think that it's, it's understandable. Cause I think every year that passes, you just kind of still, reinforces. Like I still Holy, hear that. We um, went through. Probably, I'm really bad with song names, but that um, party in the USA, I don't know if that's the actual name. Yeah, so I when I Miley hear Cyrus. that song still, I still get that feeling inside, like that we had on the bus when we would sing it on the way to the fields, on the like the aftermath. Because we had one CD, yeah. there was one CD, and we didn't have <laughs> yeah. our. It was back before everyone had their phones, and I think one person had an iPod, and we didn't have our phones because you're on Venezuelan yeah. time. There was not any roaming. It was so like we had to talk to each other, and there was a CD in the bus. <laughs> And they played it. I think there was like a Michael Bublé song, yep. a bad Bon Jovi <laughs> song or something. And then it was party. And then it was all these like 25 um, Spanish songs. So all we kept doing was getting them to skip to party in the USA. And then we it's changed the only song it. we knew we that was any good it, that we could um, understand. <laughs> And then we yeah. changed some words and then it became yeah. our theme song and every game because like, we're like, we listened to it 20 times and like, honest, like I think honestly, I, they hate I, it. Still I loved it. I think the driver inside, hated it by like, the end of it. I feel like it would only happen yesterday. That excitement and that buzz, like that's, yep. that, that's the memory from yep. there um, for that. And just winning that silver medal, like as disheartening as it was to not win the gold, um, I still think it was like a very big achievement in the Australian baseball world. And then to have so many players 100%. at the end of that as well named in the um like um uh, lulu and myself were both named along with katie like and having them be as much as it's an australian team but them being new south wales girls as well and then i think crepa was in that one as well yeah crepa yeah you all got all star th and um rbis was there's yeah. a whole heap of us in um well not me but yeah the whole so bit of the australian team so the, cool um, like to, the yeah, to have team, that like and showed how well and, we play um, to walk away with those achievements with the girls that you trained like so hard with in the lead up and stuff like um because i even remember yep. like prep and we had to have that special injection to go to um venezuela and yeah we had to I've have so many things been just to get over needles, there and it's i remember turning thing. up to practice every week and johnny saying kim have you been yet no kim have you been yet no kim you in your last week like, if you don't get it, like, you can't travel. And I was like, don't worry about it. Like, I'll still be fine. And he's like, no, the government will not let you out or in. Like, and I was like, I'll still be fine. And then, and then. We need your yeah. bat. And then get my over your needles. We need your bat in the was like, that's it. I've just booked it. Like, and I was like, oh, God. Like, and then he picked me up from work one day. And I remember him saying, we're just okay, going out for dinner. And then all of a sudden we pulled up this little, like, shop center. And I was like. I've never been here before. 
And then he's like, yeah, just get out of the car, like walk it. And all of a sudden I realized we're standing, we're standing in a doctor's surgery. Dinner and a needle. Like, oh, God. <laughs> it's usually dinner yeah, and a show, like, oh, but yeah, God, you got dinner and a needle. Well, we are, we are all glad you got that needle very, very much. Um, Tammy, what's your, before we wrap up, what's your, um, if I ha- you have to um, choose one, I, I know it's a brutal question. I don't think we can go past beating the USA in um, <sighs> good one in Korea. Good one. I, I it's it was on the TV when I went to watch um, the live tonight. It's still got Abby Kelly, and I will forever. That's Abby Kelly for me. Yes. Um, pitching, and it was the game. It was just. I don't think we really knew what we were doing. Like it was just. It ha- It started. It kept rolling, and it just happened. It yep. was just. I don't think the USA knew either. Abby, like, the game. She. Yeah. The game. Absolute up on star. Yeah. Yeah. And I must say, another highlight for me, going into <gasps> cheeks, uh, is cheeks. the diamonds in the rough stuff. I have to throw it out there. The diamonds in the rough was just a life changer for all of us. Like Gossy putting all that together was amazing. That's awesome. Times we'll never forget. I was very fortunate with going three times, a bit selfish, but it's just, I absolutely loved it. And it was, we're very, very fortunate to be given that experience for life. That's awesome. <laughs> really I love cool. that that's a, still that's have some of the you. young girls like, from over really, there that's really cool. every I, now I've... and then, like, um, just randomly. And, like, because it takes a second to be like, who's this person mm-hmm. messaging me? And then realize, like, you can see the chain or some photos that, because they're now, like, 20 and at the time, they were like 12, like, and then you look that's at awesome. it and because I think, who is this person? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You go back and realize, oh, yeah. they're like, they'll say to you, I still remember, like, the clinic in the um, sweat box, like. We went to a, um, yeah, I went, I was talking to someone about it today, reminiscing, and we actually went to a, a school one of the tr- times, I can't remember which trip. Yep. We went to this school and uh, we basically, it was like, you know, a girls empowerment type of program. We went into this school and we just had to do some drills and, and kind of connect with the girls. And we sat down to have lunch with them and um, gosh, you all love this story. And we um, just got to connect with them and stuff. And they said, oh, do you know like those superheroes on TV? And I was like, yeah, like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, that's like you guys. Like, you guys are like those superheroes. Like, on t- you got, like, superpower. You get to travel the world playing sport. Like, how wow. amazing is that? And, like, Gossie had me on radio stations telling this story. Like, it was just we underestimated the influence yep. we had. Like, it was absolutely amazing. I think we amazing. all do. So that's, it was, that was the. That's awesome. Yeah, learning that, well, not even learning, but just that reminder of that baseball's bigger than a game. Like, it's so much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is, there's so much more to it, especially over there. Like, it was gender equality. It was empowerment, self-esteem. It was so much going on during those trips. And I think that really, we were fortunate to travel as Australian teams over there and kind of do that. Yep. Um, so it wasn't just baseball for us. It was also putting projects together and, and delving into these fears. And we did media training That's why over there. We did bits and pieces. Like they really. That's why she was. Uh, Simone's... <laughs> <laughs> I told, I reminded her of our training and said, you're very well equipped. She actually this. messaged me and said, um, I'm really terrible. And yeah. then after the game, she just couldn't put a word together. And I'm like, it's all right. She, she <laughs> just had two walk-offs. We'll let her off. We'll let her off. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But like they very much the whole time we were over there, it was AB and Simone would say like, we're getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And yep. that was it. That was the trip. We were so, it was hot. It was it was just, yeah, you can't even explain in words. We had one field that there were stray cats running around. We had holes in the outfield. We actually had to go out and put cones in the outfield because there was, like, they were footholds. Like, wow. you would break your ankle. So we were playing, like, bu- trying to dodge. A bus trip. Land, like, it was just it totally, that we went really, really equipped a us for a World Cup. We realize how we've got direction to then have to pull her over and turn around to drive back the other way and then get to the field and literally no warm up, just get on the field and go. By the time we got to slot. the field, but by the time we got to the field, we were sitting in and like, it probably doesn't sound great, but we were sitting in our skins. Like it was that hot. We were no sweating on top of each other. We were like jammed in. I remember it was like Borgo and myself live, and somebody else that was young, I apologize for whoever else it was, but us youngins on the back, like squished in because we could fit in the back seat and we were just sweating. Like it wow. was disgusting. And 
like him said we went two hours the wrong direction it was 20 minutes from the hotel so it was just we really had to adapt yeah. um, I think that was a fantastic lead up to World Cup yeah I never had the, I never had the COVID opportunity. changes things like that. yeah I never had the opportunity to go on one of those trips I was uh, out of the sport at the time but um it sounds like an amazing yeah. opportunity if I had, had did that. you do Aussie hearts no trips? no I didn't do that I think yeah Australian teams, Victorian teams, full-time work. I think that nothing yeah. else was squeezing yeah. in, I can tell you. It's a lot to juggle. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I look, yeah. I think we could sit here all night and talk, but I just wanted to say <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. Country New South Wales superstars, New South Wales, Queensland, Australian, first sisters to play together at the same World Cup. It is Kim McMillan, Tammy McMillan. You two should be so proud of what you've done for women's baseball and keep doing for women's baseball. It's Tammy, we never got to play at a World Cup together. It's a shame. Um, Kim was hogging all the time with me. You could have let me have one with Tammy, but um, no, thanks, guys. Really, we did try. I remember one trial we did, and that was I, yes. I, I was a bit starstruck, I must say. <laughs> it was like, eh, uh, no, can't talk to her. I'll just be over here at the back of the line. <laughs> oh. No, it was awesome. Awesome to see you go on and play for Australia. And I, I, yeah, I've loved it. Thank so you. Thanks thank for you doing for this, Amy. On. Really appreciate it. Thank you for doing this as well. Yeah. I love it. Fantastic no, job. I, I really love You're it. Killing it. Thank you. I will, as long as people keep tuning in, I will keep talking <laughs> yeah. and crapping on about stuff. So if people keep want to watch women's baseball, yeah. I will keep talking about women's baseball. So world's maybe, best maybe job. You need, maybe you need talk. to come gonna... talk about baseball. <laughs> if <laughs> if I got paid for it, it'd be the world's best job. In, um, December <laughs> yeah. for the state cup, for Queensland state cup, when they got the little league, the junior league, senior league and all that. There's like over 50 odd teams in that. I'd uh, love it. The week. I'd love Get it. on that. I I'd love it. I've got women's showcase. Yeah. I've got women's showcase coming up in a get couple some, of weeks. Get some little leaguers so on. tune in. Give them some um, fame time. Yeah. They'll yeah. love it. Give some fame time. Yeah, see they I'll, they I'll with the Amy some McCann. old um, autographed cards or something. I'll bring some of yeah. my gear. Who's gonna interview you? When are you the guest? See, no, she, I'm not the guest. She's the enforcer. Oh, I'll, the guest. Maybe I'll interview you. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'm in the enforcer. <laughs> yeah. I'll interview myself. Didn't you say you've changed from being the enforcer? I have. I honestly believe I reckon I have changed from being the enforcer. But maybe I'll interview myself. That is a good question. Who uh, would interview me? I'll get Tani Or to do Sam. It. Sam could do it, I reckon. Yeah. She'd keep you in line. She'd keep you in line. I'm going to get, I'm like, gonna get Sam on first. What's an before interesting she, chat? Before Sam, yeah. Uh. That would be an interesting <laughs> chat. But we'll see. <laughs> I'll, li I'll line gold, someone up to interview me. Match, um, like you would, Victorian so. history. There you go. Yeah, good one. I like no it. No worries. Thank you. Thanks, Tia. Thank you very much. Bye.